Hey, hello, Food Plot Phil here. Hope things are going well. Um, today, I'm going to talk about bucks, whitetail bucks. Um, QDMA puts out a great educational magazine, Quality Whitetails. They also put out great posters and videos. Um, this poster is my favorite, Estimating Buck Age on the Hoof. Um, great post. You can purchase these online at QDMA.com. Uh, great, great information. There's a lot of other stuff on there too. Um, I'm just going to talk about, like I said, bucks. The biggest thing I hear that bothers me is people managing, the little management that they do in bucks or in anything is they manage by antler size, not age structure. Um, you know, I heard a lot of people say to me, hey, we manage, you know, 150 is man you know don't shoot anything bigger than 150 out here now that, that that's great on paper but you know in illinois we have phenomenal three and a half year olds 160 plus inch three and a half year olds now so by saying that you're telling me that i should shoot 160 inch three and a half year old but i should not shoot 130 inch five and a half year old that's just asinine i mean that's why you gotta know you gotta know age not antler size now second thing Ground shrinkage, okay? Antlers, they lie to us. They're white. They naturally reflect light. So they come crashing through the woods, this rack, they look big all the time. Now, look at the body. The body will not lie to you. Look at it. Check it out. Don't look at the rack. People get all caught up in the rack and then they blow the shot. Look at the deer. Is it mature? Concentrate on the shot. Then you can show me the rack, okay? I've, I've had friends. It's happened, it's happened to all of us. You know, we've look at the rack, and then we don't end up shooting the deer. They can tell you all about the rack, they don't have it. So make sure you have the rack. So shoot, you know, look at the body. Okay, that's a mature deer, I'm going to shoot it. Concentrate on the shot. So remember, manage by body. Look at the body of the deer. You know, I always talk to people and they say, oh, I saw these bucks, blah, 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 and I ask them. First thing I ask them is, how old are they? They don't even think about how old they are. They don't even care, but it, it matters. Three and a half is 60% of their potential, approximately. Four and a half is like 90% of their potential. Five and a half is 95 to 100% of their potential. Um, so, you know, let them get old. That's the biggest thing with bucks is let them get mature. Let them get mature. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, I hear so many people, they wonder why there's no big bucks in their farm. And, and when I know for a fact that, that they've shot little bucks every year. For five to ten years and, and it's it just blows me away like okay you take ten babies okay could be pterodactyls could be elk could be elephants kittens it doesn't matter you have ten babies you kill eight of them when they're babies i have to be surprised if any of them reach maturity you know and it, it's so elementary it's laughable you know i, I tell this to people and they laugh but it's the truth People with bucks, with deer, people don't see it like that. They shoot these little bucks and then they wonder why there's no giants. Because they see on these TV shows that are not about education. They're about footage and themselves instead of education. That's why I want to make this about education. I want to get some footage in here too, but the key is education. You know, we can always learn. You know, I've been in this field for years and I make it my, I, I try to learn. You know, I, I met with a, a good guy has a, a deer scent, a deer farm pretty close to here, and just sit down and talk to him for a while and, you know, just learned a few things that really kind of changed my views on a few things, and they kind of made things come together a little better. So just remember, you're never too old to learn, so learn, okay? So this is Food Plot Phil. Thanks a lot. Remember, if you want to kill big bucks, you can't kill little bucks. Hey, keep it growing, keep it green. Be safe. God bless. Here we are with the big dog tree stand tip of the week. Now, down in Jefferson County with my good buddy Jody, we spent we probably spent upwards of 20 hours in our big dogs. Um, comfortable, worked great. So, big dog tree stand tip of the week is when I have a great you know prime funnel or prime area on a farm, you know if I can set up a food plot, I'll do that, and then I'll set up you know. Two stands, one one for each wind direction, and then let it let it sit. So many times people have these great spots. They go in, they want to shoot does out of there, 
let them, let the does come by. You know, if you can get these does coming here every day, you know, on their way to feed, wait till November. Those big bucks are moving. Sneak in. You'll catch them cruising. It blows me away also how many people shoot does in November, early to mid-November. Why? <laughs> that's, that's what I want by me is a doe. I want does on my farm in November. So why'd you shoot them? Don't shoot them. I mean, hey, I'm not telling you what to do, but you do what you want to do, I guess, really. But <laughs> see how it goes. But anyways, hey, that's the big dog tree stands tip of the week. Thanks a lot. Food plot Phil. But here we are, Phil's food plot tip of the week. Now, when it comes to food plots, even if it's an acre or two, or, you know, let's say the one to five acre food plot, I still don't like to put one food, I don't like to put one seed in there. I like to plant different varieties. Now, deer are browsers. They'll eat from 100 to 150 different species of browse, all kinds of stuff. So, by putting one thing there, you're really limiting yourself. So, I like to put you know, corn, beans, clover, milo, you know, turnip sometimes. But just remember, how long do these deer gain nutritional value from this plant? You know, what's the quality of the plant? And does this plant also provide cover? Um, and just remember, what, what, what does anybody, anything need? Food, water, cover. So, and in, in Illinois especially, they don't need food as much as they need cover. So, by buying a farm and planting a few food plots and hunting for a couple of years, that's not bad, but work on your cover, manage your timber, manage your habitat. Call me a food plot Phil, help you out. Uh, thanks a lot. That was your Phil's food plot tip of the week. Good luck hunting, guys. God bless. Hey, food plot Phil here. Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining me here. You're doing a lot of things right now, but you're uh, hanging out with me, and I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. This song Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I once was lost But Thanks a lot. Have a great day. God bless.